Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Space Crew, the Legendary Edition. Uh, we've met this dude last time, an extremely annoying ship that you have to hack because they have a, a cloaking device. And he actually comes with other ships that have cloaking devices. And every time they cloak, it seems like you have to reacquire the targets. And doing that and hacking and all of that in the meantime is just extraordinarily annoying. So, uh, that's going to be a crappy one to try and kill. Anyway, let's see what we have. Nothing new here. We've got a new suit of some sort. I don't know. Something. Probably they have an armored suit. I don't know. Uh, Mark three. That is a lot of armor, though. Okay. Never mind that. Uh, boots. 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 Ultra boots. Ooh, I like that. High-tech powered boots providing a combination of heavy armor and assisted movement. That is perfect for Simon. Actually, no, because he has the magnetic boots. Um, gravity boots. Oh, never mind that. I keep forgetting about that. Um, ultra boots. Power boots would give her a lot of speed, but we can also do ultra boots. He's got armored ones at the moment, and these ones have the same armor. But you know what? Let's uh, let's spend some money on the ship systems and such first. Engines. Ah, now we're talking. Agile engines, Mark Three. Man, they are bigger. Look at that, and they're very cheap as well. Holy moly! Yes, please. That is perfect. That's gonna give us a lot more. Uh, I think five percent more um, evasiveness each. I'm not sure. Escape pods, Mark Three. Has a very strong chance of an automatic recovery. If that fails, there's a strong chance that the pod can be tracked and recovered. But uh, we don't really rely on these, and they are. Quite expensive. So, weapons. Wow. Out of our range. Look at that flak cannon. Time fuses. Oh. Auto cannon high explosives. Heavy laser mark 2. So, let's see. We've got 130, 172, 73, and 74 for the moment. I think I want to upgrade this to a mark 3. Or something else, perhaps. Yeah, let's do a Mark III plasma cannon here. That would be pretty good. And then we don't really have the money for anything else. Alright, let's see the missions. A mission? Oh, wow, there's the Eliminate Champion. High risk. Clear out enemy forces, transport engineer to the or Orion. Our sister station, the Orion, has come under attack from these mysterious enemies. They require a UDF engineer to assist in getting their comms back online. Transport one of ours uh, uh, to them safely. Clear out enemy forces. And uh, awaiting UDF space telescope. Hmm. That's quite a lot of money, actually. And research. Oh, but this one is money and research lots of it very nice i think i want that take out and destroy the rogue light cruiser that's cool but uh that's an actual critical mission also this one at eleven thousand. um you know what let's try to get the champion oh captain talus oh, there he is david considers himself to be superior to any human he may cross paths with he almost feels pity for humankind and their vain attempts to match his incompatible intellect. Almost. Keen to maintain his advantage, David sneaks up on his prey in a stealth fighter equipped with a cloaking device and heavy weapons. Yeah, extremely annoying ship. Um, that cloaking device is down there, I believe. That you have to hack. It's kind of cool looking, though. Captain Talos. Oh, wow, look at that. Those cannons. The swashbuckling captain of the rogue androids. His buccaneering nature makes him the ideal leader of a drone army bent on the destruction of the human species. Captain Talos's spacecraft of choice is a heavy gunship that sails into battle brimming with devastating flak cannons. Alright, so we're, uh, we're gonna try to eliminate the champion. It is a high risk, but yeah. We'll try. We'll try to. Um, and this time, I guess... I don't know. Should we try to just target him instead of all the others? I don't know. It's probably not a good idea. There. 
Alright, launch. The problem is, you know, it'll it'll keep uh, changing it all. So now we've got 58% evasiveness without actually being on evasive mode. Very nice. Alright, let's charge it. This is going to be a very nice money injection, though, if we can actually get him. And we're going to use all the supports we can to objective. Incoming enemies. If I do this and then do defensive... No, he just goes in a random direction. Okay. I haven't actually checked what the evasiveness was. 60... Probably... 869% something. Where? There we go. Let's go defensive. 68. Yep, that's very nice. And nice shot. And... Nice shot. Come on. One more. Ah, he just moved. Come on, he's gonna get his shields there. He's just getting his shields back. That is a big gunship, look at that. I'm not gonna do performance analysis just yet. Because I want it for... Yeah, that is a big gunship. That's a big ship. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Nice. 500 XP just for that one. Uh oh Don't like that one. Come on, get it. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, missiles on that side. We're getting more. Oh, it's open now. Come on. Yes, perfect. Ah, but it's already... There's already borders on the way. Let's go say hello to them. Hello! <laughs> Excellent, he's in the corner. Kenshin is in a corner there. Perfect. There's more enemies. What else do we have? That one? Well, I suppose... Um, the analysis would have come in handy here. I didn't know there would be that many enemies, but oh well. What can I do? That is a lot of fire everywhere. Holy moly! We're still in defen uh, defensive. Yes, we are. Ouch. Come on. I suppose I can replenish the shields. No, I'll, I'm gonna save it for later. I know this is stupid. I always do that in games. No, fine, replenish shields. Like in RPGs, I, I still have level 1 potions at, at the end of the game that I haven't used because, you know, they might come in handy sometime later. <laughs> and then I never use the stuff. I like that. I think that was Plita. Why are we having such problems destroying these guys? Unless there was just a lot of them. That is a cool looking ship. What is that? I think... Oh, it's armored. I think it's an armored fighter, yeah. Because they've got that shiny armor on it. Yep. Come on. Excellent. Why is that sh still... Okay, it is actually shooting all the uh, all the cannons but just two at a time I think hit it please yeah those guys quite hurt I think they're like heavy fighters or something very nice come on uh, no EMP effect excellent wow that was quite a lot of them I should have used the analysis but oh well because I think we would have gotten more XP here than with the cloaked guys, because those will be just difficult to destroy. There's a highly radioactive comet heading towards your location. Okay, so we kind of want to get out of here. Ow. 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 Can we destroy it? No. Ow. Ow. Okay, so what's the uh, fast jump charge that's what we'll use unless ow come on don't do that 
Yeah, go, go closer to it. That's a good idea. That's cool, though. Very creepy. Faster! See, Delta Tree is really well uh, shielded. Well, more shielded than the others. Excellent. Let's get out of here. I think that uh, health should come back. But I never really paid too much attention to that. So I don't exactly know how that mechanic works. Because, you know, healing this yellow stuff would be the same as healing actual damage. So what's the point in trying to save and wait? I don't know. We'll see. I'll wait with this and we'll see. Ooh. Oh, that was cool. We actually saw them alive. Yep, that one first, please. Any more enemies around? Not at the moment, but they will be. Come on. Excellent. Look at those rockets go. Come on. Yeah, I think the health is climbing back up to, for people. Very nicely done. Oh, wow. Oh, they got a lot of... Uh, yeah, ouch. Defensive, please. That's how these guys get you. That's quite painful. Yeah, Delta Tree already got all of his health back. And the others are getting it back slowly as well, I believe. So, yeah. It heals over time. Very slowly. Yeah, I should have used performance analysis at the start because it would have replenished by the time we get to uh, attack the... the ace. Shields restored. So yeah, instead of trying to actually make... Uh, you know, read all the stuff that he's saying, I'll just concentrate on... Hacking quickly and uh, doing other stuff. There's a lot of them. <laughs> Plita has a weird sound. I mean, uh, weird. Oh, that's a hacker, I believe. Hello. No? What is that? Very cool looking ship with armor. I don't know what it is exactly, but it didn't do much. Very nice laser shot. And another one. That's a... Is it a Mark II? No, it's a Mark I. Come on. Excellent. Alright, here we go now. Oh, we're actually ready to charge there. Setting new heading. Look at those engines, though. They look cool. Charging for hyper jump. Power diverted to engines. Power! Oh wow. Okay. Locate champion comms officer David. I believe this is the one. There we go. War pathetic humans. So that's not him. Oh no, that's a border as well. I won that first. <clears throat> more of them here. Okay, we are going to do performance analysis now and do fighter support. Because these guys are going to otherwise run away anyway. So, where is he? Excellent. Come on, get him. The brain the size of a planet. Oh, there he is. Okay, initiate hack. Ouch. Okay, uh, ow, ow, ow. It's that one, it's that one. It is uh, that one. Oh, that was only three now. Nice. Okay, come on, more. Okay, uh, is that one, it is that one, and it is that one. Come on, we got him now. Don't cloak on me. Excellent. Okay. More? Oh, we got him. Okay, uh, Simon. You need to go and fix that. 
Oh, we actually got him. That was um, somehow a lot easier than I thought it would be. And that was also weird because... I don't know. Impossible! How could someone or my intellect be defeated? How could my brilliant mind not see this coming? How could my brain not... Logic error, logic error, shutting down. Oof. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I don't know why it said that we needed yet another... <laughs> Look at that guy. Uh, yet another... Um, uh, hack. Not really sure what's going on there. I think, I think, well, well. All right, take your suit back and go back. All right. What's going on? Why can't I charge? There we go. Simon can actually go and heal up. Charge! Well, that's going to be a lot of very nice credits that we need. Oh, unstable wormhole drive. That's cool. Uh, I can't remember what exactly... It gives you, like, a shortcut. Yeah, but proceed at your own risk. It looks unstable. I think it takes you to a really dangerous area and then uh, back home. And this time around, it actually is quite useful. Because, um... We're here. Instead of, like, here and it gives you a wormhole. Alright, so let's see. <clears throat> no, don't bump into that. Jeez, that was a weird... Oh wow, look at it sparking. And that's a, that's a Phasmid one as well. Oh, check object. Oh! Oh yeah. That's cool. So we need that one and that one. <clears throat> yeah! Hack successful. Wormhole activating. Power! Unknown area. Wormhole stabilizing. I like that. Not fast, Miss, eh? Oh, that's a lot of them. Holy moly! That's a lot of them. How about we have some uh, focus fire for everyone? Okay, should we do some... Let's do some shield overcharge. Yeah, why not? Let's do that, even though it's gonna go... I don't know if we now actually have more... Oh yeah, he had focus fire. That was stupid. Mm, no. Oh, that's shield overcharge, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. Not the uh, reactor overcharge. Performance analysis is not ready. These guys are going to board us. Come on. Get them before they open up. They're about to open up. I think uh, these guys will be gone. Shame we didn't get that. Darn it. Athena station. Oh, already? Holy moly, that was a shortcut. I think they fixed that. <laughs> because before in the main campaign, shortcuts were pretty useless. That was cool. Alright. Firestar. Legendary edition. Bombs Officer David, destroyed. 11,000. That's gonna be really handy. Very nice. Actor boost 2. And no new stuff because we didn't get any uh, research done here. But... We got that. Okay, that's a high capacity shields, gravity generator, oxygen generator, don't care, even though these are more armored, but don't care. Uh, efficient reactor, we want that one, Mark three. Medical bay, weapons, oh yeah, engines are the good ones, standard engine. Uh, so weapons, pretty much. Lightning gun. Do I want more lightning gun or do I want something else, is the question. <clears throat> hmm. Lightning gun mark 2 is 118. 
EMP effect. It's more effective against shields. I could, of course, go for one of these. Um, it's auto, but it's just a basic auto cannon plus a lightning gun mark two. I could try the flak cannon. But then we have stuff that's better against uh, armor plating. Armor plating. Uh, okay, this is against shields and this is against shields. So, hmm, yeah. Hmm. Area of effect damage. I mean, that's a lot of DPS, but it's probably not directed as, as well. So, I don't know. I mean, don't knock it till you try it, right? But... Hmm. I'm just wondering. Have a laser mark too. Yeah, let, let's try it. Why not? Let's try it. <clears throat> and we'll see how it goes. And also, crew gear. Let's see if Simon needs something. He's got that helmet. He's got the ultra suit, which is very good. He's got the engineering tool, which is nice. He's got the ultra gloves. Oh, these gloves contain advanced tools which help with the repair of ship systems. That could indeed be useful. <clears throat> Maybe I should do that. And boots, these are very good. The armored gravity boots. Assisted movement. Yeah. So he's gonna stay with the gravity ones. Uh, is there an engineering suit as well that gives you extra stuff? I don't think so. No. No. So that's a pretty good suit to have here. Um, so we have some extra gloves now. We already have ultra gloves. So someone else can get ultra gloves now. Mm. Delta tree. Because he usually... Yeah, he's got Discovery Gloves. You can get these ones. Because he's usually on the away team as well. So this is more armor, but it is less radiation protection and oxygen. Oh well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And I will see you in the next part of Let's Play Space Crew. Bye-bye.